you're my baby, my lover. I mean, we always talk to producers about grinding and really going out to build relationships and you produced one of my favorite uh, songs, So Beautiful with Music, and so I was hoping you could kind of give them the backstory on how you linked up with music. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I pretty much changed music around for about eight months. Um, I had some other songs from that I still to this day feel like he needs to record and put out, but I had some other songs for him, um, and his assistant at the time was Danita Hathaway, who was the daughter of Donnie Hathaway. So I met her first, and I just badgered her for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks till she gave me the manager's number, and I badgered him for months. Uh, they were out here in LA working with Warren Campbell, so on the way from the airport, on the way from Warren Campbell's studio to go to the airport to leave, he called me and he was like, yo, you know, I heard some of his stuff, that's dope, I'm gonna come by your studio for about 20 minutes and then I gotta go to the airport. So for me, I, I, I've always felt like I, as soon as I get the artists in the room and they're ready to hear something, then that's when all the problems see. So, you know, he came, played him a couple tracks and called his manager, changed his flight. And that night was the night we did So Beautiful. So that was the first song I ever did with him. You know what I'm saying? And it ended up being this, the main single off the record. But um, yeah, it was just, I, I I feel like I could be so persistent because I do my homework and I, I try to make sure that I truly believe I have something that that artist can use, you know what I'm saying? And I do all the homework that comes with that, like I listen to their albums, I listen to the key they sing in, I listen to the tempo they're most comfortable in, I do, I, I do whatever I can to make sure I'm in the neighborhood of giving them something that they can use. Uh, and that fuels my persistence, you know what I'm saying? It's not just for nothing. Because I, you know, I've been on the other side of people like calling me, calling me, calling me, calling me, calling me, and not doing their homework, and that's a horrible feeling. Once they get that opportunity to come, and they don't have nothing for you, so. But really, it, that was just all about persistence, you know. And it, it literally changed from his label calling and telling him, "Don't miss that flight." You know, why are you going over there to his studio? And overnight, it changed from that to, "Can you do some more records with him?" And he ended up staying a month, and we, you know, we did more songs. Just for me, babe. 